Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just taking a little break here in the backyard at the cabin build. And I've been thinking about my videos here on YouTube and kind of a new way that I think I might start doing them for a little while. It's just going more of an organic, uncut, you know, raw type of video. I've been doing YouTube now for a while, you know, it's been two and a half years you know and pretty much all my videos i've done the same you know filmed all day long and then put together the the best video that i could you know with music and all that kind of stuff and i just want to try something different you know i want to just try like a raw organic uncut version of me and the videos that i make so that's what i'm doing right here so I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. I really do. And I really want to show you guys around. So instead of filming all day and then taking this video and going home and uploading it and cutting it all up and putting music and making everything sync and line up and transitions and all that kind of stuff, I'm just not going to do that anymore for a while. I'm just going to do it like this and see if that makes me happy. You know, because if I ain't happy doing the videos that I want to do, I'm not going to end up making videos. And so I just want to see if it makes me happy, see if I like doing it this way, and see if you guys like it. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I'm doing. That's kind of where I'm at mentally. And I'm excited because I think it's going to be fun. And if you can see right there, boom, right there behind me, that's the casing for the well. Well, guys, out of here, we got water. We got seven, eight gallons a minute, which is more than enough. And I have to build a well pump house right there. Not too big, about four feet by five feet. And so I need to jump on that. Probably get to frame that out. Saturday is what I'm planning. And we got to dig the ditch from the house up to there to run the water in and and the electrical and stuff like that so got a little bit to do there if you take a look at the cabin boom still not painted i haven't even started that yet because i've been finishing up the inside i'm like the one man uh wrecking ball crew right now you know just coming out here and doing whatever i can in the day just to try to get this thing done and one thing i've learned from doing this stuff long enough in my life is the hardest part is just the finishing up. You know, it just seems like there's tons of little stuff you gotta do, punch list items. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Got a big long list of stuff that I need to still do and I'm just marking them off the list until I get them done, you know. But um, let's go in. I'll kind of show you guys around. Instead of like filming all day and making a video and, and showing you kind of as I go, what i've done i'm just gonna make this video and i'm just gonna show you everything right now so let's get in and i'll flip this camera around and i'll show you guys some stuff so here's three quarter inch pecs coming out of the house ditch has to go like this right up to here which isn't too far it's about 35 40 feet or so so not that bad Got to get that done. Got to frame up and build the pump house. That's going to take a minute, but it won't be too bad. Um, no paint yet, like I said. No handrail yet. I'm saving that until the very end. But let's go in and take a little look around real quick. We got lights. Check it out. Barn wood. You guys probably already seen all this barn wood right here. That's from the barn that I tore down a while back. And you can see that I've been cleaning it, okay? I haven't cleaned this, but you can see all that mud dauber stuff. This over here was the same way, but I spent some time yesterday and cleaned all this, scrubbed it down so it looks way better. It looks a whole lot better once I got all the dirt scrubbed off of the wood. And uh, 
Some of you guys might have already seen all the cabinets and everything I got put in. Got the stove. I still got to put a cord on. Got that picked up. Boom. Got the wrong cord first and had to take that back. And now we got the right cord. Uh, fridge is in. Boom. Windows trimmed out. Got all the trim pretty much done, I think. We still got uh, some backsplash to put on. We got backsplash there. We still got to put that one on, but I'm waiting on that one until I get the sink installed. Just give me a little bit more time to run my saws and every, or give me a little bit more room to run my saws to cut the sink hole out. And then once I get the sink installed, I'll put that backsplash on. But right behind me, got the washer and dryer, boom. Got the hot water tank, all hooked up to the electrical. Just gotta hook up the uh, water lines to it, hot and cold. And let me show you these cabinets. We did go with the Hickory cabinets from Lowe's. Let me flip this camera around. So right here, those turn out good. Gotta put two knobs on right there. Gotta put one drawer pull right there, which I got picked up right there and then got that i got another one in my truck dishwasher's installed stove will be installed later today and the cabinets come around make a bar we did round the corners off right here on the butcher block and then we had this void where our cabinets came together so we just built a cedar shelf underneath there and finished that out and they can put they can put blankets or extra pillows or whatever underneath that. So it's a good uh, use of space, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, all the windows are trimmed. I still need to go around them with clear silicone. That's on my list, just to get everything siliconed up. I do need to put some clear silicone, boom, right there at the threshold of both of the doors. All right, let's go take a look at the bedroom. Let me flip this camera around again. All right, so this room here is pretty much all done. Okay, they wanted cedar accent in the bedroom, so we trimmed out all the corners, up around the lid, and of course, the baseboard. Windows are all trimmed. We got, this is the bathroom door that I built right here. Built it to match the two old existing doors that they wanted to use. Uh, the This door and then this door right here that I installed the other day came out of a came out of an old cabin. Like these doors here might be like a hundred years old. I don't even know. They're really super old. So the one I got installed back there on that bedroom was a freaking challenge, man. I ain't even joking. It is all warped and bent in the middle and trying to get everything straightened out. And of course it wasn't square so i had to trim it and do all kinds of stuff but anyways got it installed and uh it's got a bunch of glue on the back right here you see this boom two stripes of glue going down so i'm probably gonna like scrape all that glue off with like a putty knife or something and then put some bats on there of cedar just maybe like an inch and a half inch wide Kind of a thin board just to cover up the glue and make it look better and i think this one this is the one i got to install right here on this doorway to this bedroom and i think no can y'all see they got bats on that side so no glue on this side this door is pretty much re ready to go you know but i'll put the boards on the other door just to make it look the same as this one and cover up that glue so anyways um let me flip this around bathroom's done uh hang on let me turn on the light okay shower units in toilets in just got to install the vanity that's it for in there this bedroom's done and that's about it that's about it, guys. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. And uh, I guess I'll see y'all on the next video.